Hey everybody, it's Jenna Malone from JennaMaloneCreates.com and today we're going to do a review of the Web Developer Bootcamp with Cold Steel. Now, a lot of people have heard about this course and there's a lot of talk about it. If you haven't heard of the course, it's a course on Udemy that is very high rated. I've heard about it from like at least five other people. Um, most of them being YouTubers, other web developer YouTubers. I'm going to be going over what I think about this course in comparison to Team Treehouse because I've also done another review on this channel for Team Treehouse's front end web developer track. So I'm going to let you know what I think of it compared to Treehouse. Um, a little bit, I'm going to go a little bit into what I think of the Udemy platform compared to Treehouse, and yeah, let's get into it. If you haven't heard of Cold Steel, definitely give his courses a look. He's a rock star instructor, like his, he's really freaking good at um, breaking down difficult tasks into a simple situation, because that's why the teaching code is all about right it's about taking something that is complex and difficult and breaking it down into an easier way to learn and i think that cold steel does that very well so this is the course right here as you can see i am 50 percent complete with it i just completed the javascript portion this is my second time learning JavaScript. The first time I learned JavaScript was with Team Treehouse. So keep that in mind because if this is your first time diving into JavaScript, I think it's also going to be a very good course for you to take and a great start for you to um, get ahead into JavaScript and I think the way that he explains it is also great for beginners um, people who have never touched JavaScript before because like I said the way that he breaks things down he makes it really easy to understand and I'm gonna be like to be honest I did not um get a full grasp of JavaScript the first time around and that doesn't mean that Team Treehouse's resources for JavaScript it doesn't necessarily mean that they are bad it just means that sometimes people take two three four time to learn JavaScript it's just it happens I've talked to other developers and they've told me the same thing sometimes they learn it from multiple resources multiple times so, so the course starts out with a little introduction um, he goes through how to ask for help he introduces his teacher assistant which I think is Ian and he steps in a lot and kind of makes things clear if there's like a typo in the lesson or like he said like something wrong in the lesson. They'll have like a little note with the lesson before be like look this lesson like keep this in mind there was a mistake at like 4 minutes and 50 seconds into the video and then I'll be like just keep in mind that he accidentally said this but meant this um it doesn't happen too often but it does happen that happens on every platform it goes over to class chat room which let me show you the chat room so what i have open here is gitter and gitter if you don't know about it you should definitely check it out it's very useful if you come here there's a group for the web developer bootcamp and if you ever get stuck, you can come here and there's always a ton of people. You'll get a lot of feedback. Whenever I've had an issue, I've come here and most of the time I literally get an answer like right away. 
like within five minutes someone is like there to help and like break things down just easier like the last time I asked for help. I kind of like the code worked but I wasn't um a hundred percent like positive um with the logic behind it and I came here and someone explained it to me they're like look this is why it works that way so this is a really good community and if you sign up for the course you get access to the skitter um these skitter groups there's a bunch of them which is um that's pretty cool so it goes into um an intro to front-end development you got your basic html and css which since i already know html and css and came from team treehouse i just kind of zoom by these courses i would just play them on like two times the speed like twice the speed and i would just listen to it like whenever just uh like I don't know. I had like a fear of missing out type of deal with that. It's like I feel like there might be like some like tip that might help. And that I did get a few tips out of it. Um which is which is nice. But it does a great job at also breaking down HTML and CSS. Um then you go into bootstrap. And then you go into JavaScript. And with JavaScript, his style of teaching with JavaScript is what he he will typically do is he will have some slides, um, basically explaining and teaching that subject. So you'll go through that. Let's say you're learning about if else statements for example so you go through those slides um he teaches you about if else statements and then the next lesson what he'll typically do is he will try to um he'll have like um like a snippet of code up on the screen and he will ask you to pause the video and to try to figure out what the output of whatever that code snippet will be like don't um and don't cheat like don't go don't just like copy and paste in the console and like like actually try to figure it out on your own and what has also helped me is since this is my second time learning javascript what i will do is sometimes i'll pause the video and before he, before he explains the solution, I'll try to figure out the solution myself. Hmm. That way it's like testing my skills, see, you know, to, to see like how much I, I do remember. And yeah, I just think it's like a really um, good way. So my recommendation to you is if this is your second time learning JavaScript, um, definitely try to pause the video and try to figure out the solution yourself if you can before he gives the answer and I think that's really helpful that's a really helpful way to learn as well so he's got like one two three four five six seven so he's got like seven sections with just vanilla javascript and these all have like i'm sorry eight eight sections with vanilla javascript and each of these sections have like 10 lessons eight lessons um this one's got 13 so as you can see it's a ton of content and you're really going to understand it after taking this. I highly recommend it. If you're new getting into code, I think this is a great start because you can catch um, when Udemy is having a $10 sale. 
a lot of times they'll discount the courses for like $9.99 or like $11.99, which you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Getting this course for $10, you cannot go wrong. Like, it's a no-brainer. And you pay $10 once and you're able to take the course as much as you want, you don't have to keep paying a sub, sub, uh, you don't have to keep paying a subscription every month, and that's what I like about it the most: the fact that you can, the fact that you can go back and look up things if you need to. And I want to show you real quick what the videos are like. I'm only going to show you the first one because I believe as far as copyrights, that's all I can show you. So I just want to show you a little bit of the video player and some helpful tips with that. So over here you have your rewind 15 seconds, fast forward 15 seconds. If you're going through a subject that you're super knowledgeable on, you can hover over the playback speed and you can play this back at um, whatever speed you want. If you're going over a really difficult um, lesson, maybe you want to slow it down a little bit. If you're going over a lesson that you're um, more knowledgeable on, maybe you want to speed it up a little bit. Right here, there's a button for the browse question and answers. And this will typically take you to a section where um, that corresponds with the current video. So you can go in there and ask questions. But like I was saying, I think the Gitter group is really great for asking questions as well. And this right here has got to be my favorite part of learning on Udemy. What this lets you do is add bookmarks. So let's say I want to create a bookmark start of the web developer bootcamp and then hit enter and it saves that bookmark. For other platforms, what I would do is I would take screenshots um, to take notes basically because I feel like if you're sending there writing down notes, which I guess that's a good option, but it's not the quickest option. So as far as notes with Udemy, you can just add a bookmark at whatever section and then go back to it whenever you want. And you could label them to stay organized. And let me um, show you in a different window what the bookmark, um, how you can get to your bookmarks. So as you can see, you have your bookmarks here and they're labeled whatever you call them. So if, so if you didn't name them anything, it won't have anything, but this is a really great way to go back and, um, just click on like a really important part of the video that you found um that you found to be helpful so bookmarks are really nice i think it's a really great way to learn fast without having to jot down some notes and you can go back to it which is great so yeah i would say definitely check out the web developer boot camp with cold steel it's an amazing course and this is the course that um with learning JavaScript for the second time, this is the course that has made me understand it and start to understand the concepts of JavaScript. So for $10, you can't go wrong. It's wait till it goes on sale for $9.99. Um, with Udemy, I guarantee you sometime this month, it's gonna be $9.99 or $10.99. Just look out for their sales. 
and check it out. You can't go wrong at all for that price. The course is really gold. So I'm going to leave a link for it down in the description. Um, it's not an affiliate link. I don't do any affiliate marketing um, at the moment. Um, I might in the future, but right now I don't. And yeah, just definitely check it out because it's helped me and I feel like it could help a lot of you as well. So yeah, I'm on my way to the coffee shop to go um, study JavaScript for a couple hours. Right now I'm learning ES6, which is uh, the newest version on JavaScript. And there's a lot of really uh, nifty new concepts that I'm learning. It's pretty cool actually. Um, I'm taking a course by Steven Greider on Udemy as well, for that as well. Um, He's a great um, instructor, so I'm going to be going over more of my progress with that course and what I think. And um, yeah, thank you to everyone new who subscribes, and thank you to all my current subscribers. If you're not subscribed, definitely hit the button down there. And um, if you found this video helpful, make sure to like it. and. Yeah, so that's it. Bye.